Ortiz hit harder? Who hit harder, Joshua or Ortiz? Um, I think they both hit hard, man. I think Anthony Joshua caught me when I didn't see a punch, and I think he put me down like that. But with Luis Ortiz, I was cautious. I was looking at all the punches that he would hit me. So there's a punch that he got me good, and I just seen it straight coming, boom, boom, and I was like, damn. And um, but they all hit hard, man. They all fucking hit hard, and I feel. The, the advantage that I took that punch well was because of the way that, that I had on. I think if I would have been at 250 something, I think it would have dropped me. And it would have been a, a fight of me getting dropped and me dropping him. Or, But I felt, I felt strong, I felt explosive, and I was being a little too cautious because, well, he hits hard, you know? So I had to be smart. Chris, TV Boxeo. Andy, después de la pelea, este, Deontay Wilder se subió Estoy arriba del de ring, eso te sorprendió Estoy y también, ¿qué fue lo que te dijo Deontay Wilder? No, pues me bueno, felicitó y me dijo que buena pelea y uh, pero sí, me gustaría pelear con él si os quiere él gana la victoria también en octubre con, contra Robert um, esa pelea se puede hacer fácil porque estamos con Al Jaime los otros dos so, si él quiere pelear conmigo, está bien porque es una es una pelea más cerca para yo agarro el WBC Bell y quiero ser campeón del mundo otra vez o por eso quiero ser todo lo posible para, para ser campeón del mundo y traer esos cinturones para atrás para México. No los voy a dejar abajo, ya me voy a poner las pilas, <risa> la neta. <risa> Deontay told me that yeah, I fought a good fight, that congratulations. And like I mentioned before, we're both under a hammer. It's a fight that can definitely happen. But now I gotta get going. I gotta, I gotta, you know, move and just be as ready as I can be because I want the WBC belt back. I need that world title. That's my ultimate goal, and that's what I'm aiming for from now on. Last question, right here. Andy, uh, Mohammed Mubarak with EURWIN.com. You developed a huge fan base here in Southern California, and I see one of your biggest fans is sitting right next to you. How much of the cheering in the crowd affected you during the fight? It didn't really affect me, man. Um, yeah, I got my, my manager right here. <laughs> but when, when we're walking down to the ring, there was a guy that fell in front of me. It was pretty crazy, and they had to push him away and all that, but I was just still focused, man, still focused and just praying to God, please God, give me this victory. And the whole time, I was walking through that tunnel, I'm just praying and praying to get this victory and just thinking about all the stuff that I did in the gym and just thinking, I gotta be smart, I gotta be cautious, I gotta be careful with with his left hands or his over or his over hooks. So um, I think we did a good, a good plan. I think um, you guys seen something different than I usually do. Come forward and throw combinations. I try to box around and counter punching. I counter punch uh, counter puncher because that's exactly how we won the fights and got well, we we got that victory.